What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharif. And we're back with another Cubist Corner. That's right. Fresh off the plane from Switzerland and back in the Tampa area. Couldn't be more delighted as ever. We get to visit a beautiful country out there. But I'll tell you what, there ain't nothing like home. I am so happy to be home. <laughs> I love my home. Beautiful country, though. <laughs> beautiful Tampa. Beautiful country. Tampa's beautiful. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, Tampa's beautiful. Yeah. We love it here. For sure, 100% would live anywhere else. But it was good to see yeah, another, you know, another place, man. I mean, it literally looked like a painting, like everywhere you went. It yeah. looked like a fake, like cropped out photo. Every photo it we really took, did. it looked like you just pasted our family into like a, a picture or something. It's so, it was so true. Very uh, interesting. It was, it was very interesting. And we'll cover that more maybe another episode. Yeah, you'll have to stay tuned for that. But you know, every week me and Sharice, my beautiful wife here, are bringing you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully enhance your relationship and bring things to a whole new level, right? A more positive and uplifting level. And hopefully your relationship will flourish even more than what it is now, possibly, right? And if you aren't in a relationship, don't worry. Keep these tips, tricks, and information in your back pocket. So when you're ready to get in that relationship, you've got all the winning chips in your pocket and ready to go. So when you guys need to use those cards, you can pull them out, you can utilize the information, and you guys will hopefully have a successful relationship without any issues. I always have the ace of spades in the back pocket. <laughs> And don't get me wrong, all relationships are gonna go through trials and tribulations of some sort. Nobody's perfect. Truth. But if you have the you know some good information and an outline to go by, hopefully it'll save you guys some uh, some of these issues and problems that you might occur and the bumps along the way. But anyway, today we want to talk about something that's pretty important, I think, if you're gonna be in a relationship or you're getting into a relationship and it's getting serious. Mm. Right? And that is is basically moving in together. Uh, moving in together or maybe buying a house or renting an apartment or whatever it may be, you know, this is something that is, I think, very important for couples. And I think this is the true test in a lot of relationships because, you know... <laughs> I have, I'm sorry. I'm like, this is a true laugh of mine because as he's talking about this, because so I literally... Funny. Because I moved in with John, yeah. <laughs> ironically, yeah. we're talking yeah. about this, yeah. but it wasn't like, you know, a year later or like two, five... Five years later, it was literally, I think I moved in. Well, I started moving in some of my items, right? Uh -huh. Like some of the clothes and asked him to clear out like a drawer or two. Yeah. Like maybe, was it about three weeks? Yeah, I think it was three weeks. It was about three weeks after we started dating. I know, it sounds crazy. Yeah. This is so untraditional. Me and John are incredibly untraditional individuals, yeah. but yet it works for us, right? Yeah. And everything works for every individual, yeah. right? Different things can work for different couples in different situations, right? <laughs> Just apply it to, you know, listen, you don't rush things in. And if no, you do rush do things, that. you better make sure that they're really good. I just that knew, point. that's all. It's just, you know, a lot of people don't do what we did. And that's what she's saying, we're un unconventional. <laughs> like, because usually people, people that move in that quick are usually going to have problems. They go through the honeymoon stage as they've moved in. And then after that, everything really starts breaking down. It's not down. even that. It's like when you, you really, truly, it's, I know you guys have probably heard this a million times. You truly don't know somebody until you live with them, right? Yes. I, I don't care if you spend eight hours or 10 hours a day with yeah. somebody, you do not know them until yeah. you live in a home or apartment yeah. or condo or wherever yeah. you guys are living yeah. together. And yeah. then you wake up in the morning and you see a routine. Where do they leave their clothes? How do they leave their toothbrush? Toothbrushes inside the thing like this. God only knows, you know? Right. I just, I- Do they leave the toilet seat up? Do they not? Do, I mean, <laughs> you gonna fall in, ladies? <laughs> that's not fun at 3 a.m., okay? Oh, not Dunkin' fun. Donuts for you. No Dunkin' Donuts here. <laughs> No, nope, don't like, I only like glazed donuts, but not at 3 a.m. in the <laughs> toilet. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, you know, moving in together is a huge step, right? Big this one, is yeah. a really, really big step because this is combining, you know, your living space with your partner's living space. And like Sheree said, you really don't know who, you, who you're living with or who you're going to be with until you really do live with somebody because there's no hiding things, right? You know? Couples can go through dating and stuff like that. And at that point, I could have my house as a total mess on my end. And Sharice at that point could have had hers and was totally clean, which was vice versa probably. But at that point, you, you, know, you really don't know, right? And so you go over and even if you go over sometimes, they can straighten it up real quick before you come over. And like, oh, it's all straight. And that can, you know, that can last. But as soon as you leave, everything's just going all back over the place, right? Dish in the sink, whatever it may be. So 
as you move in together, you guys are going to probably, you know, find the right place and find the location. And at that point, kind of talk about maybe, you know, some of the things you guys are going to do in the house. I mean, not only that, you got the uncomfortable talks, right? So the uncomfortable yeah. talks are, all right, how are we splitting the bills? Ooh. That's an uncomfortable discussion. I mean, not for Ooh. me personally, but... We'll talk about finances in a whole nother episode because that is a truly a whole nother I think episode. It's, yeah, it's definitely a good one. That is going to be a good episode. How to bring up uh, uncomfortable financial situations. <laughs> but I mean, if you think yeah. about it, when you guys are moving into the same space, you got to kind of talk about who's paying for what, right? right. Are we going to split the rent 50 50? Are we going to split the, the, going the, the your utilities? Name. utilities? Yeah, water's going you know? to name. Hey, ladies, just so you know out there, make sure your name is on the deed of the house. Jeez. I don't care. Make sure it's on the deed of the house and or it, it will not be good for you. Well, I mean, at that point, listen, if uh, <laughs> if you're, you're going to come in and you're going to pay half the bills and stuff like that, yeah, I think that's absolutely correct. Not for nothing. I now, mean, yeah. if you're not paying all the bills and let's say it's this guy's house already and you're coming to move in. Different at that scenario. Point, you know, you can't request something. Might just like have to bite the bullet on it. Right. That. So you come, you move in. Listen, you might be living rent free at that point. Everything might work out in that scenario. If that guy's, you know, well off and he's willing to take care of you. It's or vice versa different for, scenarios. for girls and guys, everybody. right? Yeah, exactly. it, it really, it really Depends. That's what I mean. Like, it's, there's so many different things to worry about. Like, when not worry, yeah. but like discuss or like surpass or overcome when yeah. you move in with someone, right? Yeah. Like, let's just get past the financial stuff. Okay, cool. Put that to the side. Now you're going to talk about where are we placing all the stuff? What kind of furniture are we putting in here? What if you guys don't agree on the same kind of colors? What if you guys don't like the same type of setup? What if one of you guys likes clutter and the next doesn't? It's it's actually believe it or not, because me and house, me and John are doing our house now. You know, we're building a home. It's been very easy because I'm a very easygoing woman. So I'm like, I don't care. Just just build it and make it just make it look cute. I think and I'm a lot I'm, more easygoing. <laughs> I let the wife pick out what she wants. I didn't care. I don't I don't care. Just she don't care it. until it comes. I was like, I didn't want this, or why'd you get this? Why didn't you like this? Yeah. I'm gonna hear it later on. So the best thing to do is probably agree on it at the beginning. So you're not getting that like, oh just do what you want. Then we do what you want. Like, why'd you do this? Why did you this? make or, it look this what's way? This? You know, what's this going on? I'm like, no, listen, the best thing to do is talk about it, be on the same page about things. And, you know, if you're more more relaxed in the relationship as far as a guy and you're going to let the girl do some of the decorating or whatever it is, that's fine too. Just you guys talk about it, communicate about it. Communicate. Talk, communication is key, right, in every situation scenario. But, you know, at that point, you're going to have to talk about maybe some other things too. Like, listen, when you start living with somebody and you guys start eating at the house, you guys are going to have dishes, right? Now, if you're like my 12-year-old son, he gets his little plate and still oh has all gosh. the stuff on it and he puts it up on the counter still. I'm like, dude, you're not six years old. It's time for you to clean your plate off and to put it in the sink, right? Clean it off and then put it in the dishwasher. Now, guys ultimately can be messy, and I know some girls out there that can be messy too as well. They're not the cleanest people too either. It really depends on the individual. So that's another thing. You know, who's gonna be doing some of these chores? Ooh. Who's gonna be pitching in for some of these chores? Not it me. might not be something you guys talk about. It might be something that somebody's doing behind the scenes or, or doing without you guys saying. But eventually, I mean, you guys should probably share these duties in, in one way, shape, or form. Where, whether the woman's cooking and you're cleaning, or you're taking out the garbage, or whatever it is, you know, the whole point of that is laundry. You, you guys got to work together as a team. Teamwork. And that's something to talk about too. These responsibilities. And at that point, you know, it, it might be a different scenario than it is for us and how it works. And that's I mean, okay I have too. some people that have been together for, and I won't say any names. I'm sure if they watch the show, they'll know that I'm talking about them, but. You know, I've had some people have been together for two years and I just asked her the other day, I'm like, hey, are you going to move in with this guy or like what? What's yeah. going on? She's like, yeah. nope. She's like, I just like, I like my own space. That's okay too. That's okay too. You know, until you get maybe engaged or maybe married, you know, that's fine. Uh, you know, people still hang out at people's houses, right? So if they're dating, they might sleep over their girlfriend or boyfriend's house three or four nights a week. So they know to a certain extent maybe of how they're living those three or four days. But like I said, until you're truly there 24 seven, right? Uh, through thick and thin, right? Good and bad. Mm -hmm. You're really not gonna know all the ins and outs of you know how this person really lives. But you will definitely get a crash course real early, I think within the first month or two for sure. Especially if you move in after three weeks. Yeah, 90 days, you're gonna find <laughs> out everything. And then you know it's either gonna make things work even better or it might put some differences between you guys that you guys may need to talk out. Mm -hmm. You know, Some people get irritated by, by certain things or have pet peeves. and. They might not know that their partner has these peeves that they they hate so much, um, and at that point it can be could, something as stupid as putting the toilet paper roll in like really one way this way yep. or the other way this way. It's true. And I'm telling you, some people have like the end of that's the end of the world for them. I don't sure. know why, but I don't know why either. <laughs> 
don't know why. It toilet paper, toilet paper. Today. Roll it and pull it. It's right, not right. that hard. I don't and care. One way or the other, it's getting unrolled, it, right? And you're going to use it, right? So it's it. so irrelevant how it comes off the roll. This but is true. Whatever. This is so true. And then, you know, even shopping and stuff like that, what you guys are going to get grocery wise and like. How much room you have left in the yeah, fridge to, you know, after somebody stacks up all their containers or whatever. Even budget wise, like what do you guys budgeting for your, your new location and for furniture and all this stuff? And then the next point comes is, like Sheree said, you know, who's picking up the bill on these things? Are you guys splitting it? Is one person taking care of it per se? Um, <sighs> and, you know, that's, that's got to be worked one. out too. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's what it is. You guys talk about it. You guys work it out. And, and that's how you come to. And there's not like a, a great, right or wrong alignment. way for any of this. No. There's like, you know, there's different scenarios for every single. Yeah, absolutely. Like couple, you know, you have one couple, they split the bills 50-50. Yep. You have one couple, one carries all the weight, one yep. does all the home stuff. This is true. You got another couple that does it a whole different way, you know, who yeah. knows, maybe their parents are paying for everything and these this couple lives for free. That That's must true. be nice. I wouldn't know what that feels like, but I mean, I know that there are people out there that are for like that. For sure, 100%. 100%. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it, it doesn't make a wrong to a right. It's just something that needs to be brought up so Absolutely. that there's no assuming don't ever assume involved. Yep. always talk about it be confident about things and uh hopefully they'll work their ways out i mean that's that's just is what it is uh and if you guys are buying a new home or, or something like that and you guys are going that distance maybe you guys are engaged at that point marry at that point you know it's still you guys need to talk about things and, and hopefully you guys will work things out before you move in the house now that doesn't mean you're going to work everything out, okay? Even if you have some of these talks, mm -hmm. there might be something you didn't even think about that's going to pop up and come about. And at that point, you guys are going to have to deal with that situation or scenario when it does. Like what? I don't know. It could be anything. It could be <laughs> like... Uh, example. Example. Um, all right, so you leave the TV on all day. Our electric bill is going to be through the roof because you don't turn off the TV every time you use it. It's annoying. It's costing us more money. I want this to change you, immediately. You know, on that topic, just so you know, some people don't even have TVs in their bedrooms yeah. on purpose. No TVs in the bedroom. Then you have. Then you find out that somebody sleeps with the TV on all night. They can't go to sleep unless the TV's on. This is right. True. And then you have the next one that's like, well, I can't sleep if the TV's on. So what are we going to do? You going to go sleep downstairs now? Is that what's going to happen? You know, the, the other thing is too, is uh, like I've seen like uh, they have got these shows and one was like cheapskates. And you know, basically that oh was God. like people that would just sure. save any little bit of money and go out of their way to do it and do some really kind of nasty things, maybe possibly diving to accomplish it. And you know, there was, there was this couple on there and, and the girl was real, you know, she was real cheap. And she would do anything to save a dollar. I think it cost her like $15,000 to live for a whole year, you know? And the guy was just like, listen, he's like, I can't live like this anymore. Um, I understand this is how you live. And I love you, but you know what? This just is not for me and I can't take it anymore. And that's just, that's another good example. Like, you yeah. know, you're going to do some different things and people, you know, they're going to accept you or don't accept you for it. So, you know, that's the main point. The main point is talk it out. Make sure you guys think about some of these different variables that could happen if you guys, you know, progressive relationship down the road and you guys move in together. So just take into consideration, if you guys have been through this experience before, learn from it, take all that great knowledge and apply it forth to your new relationship and hopefully your new home together. All right? Oh, sounds like fun. And anybody that's questioning this stuff on my hands. Okay. got Hannah from a wedding. <laughs> the Mendy, right? Yeah, yeah. From the Indian wedding that I attended. Yeah. So it's the first time I was actually able to embrace my culture just a bit. Yeah. So, Sorry and all. Yeah, you're welcome, Mom. Anyway, <laughs> so we appreciate you guys all tuning in. We'll be here for you guys every Sunday on ABC, 11 a.m. And if you didn't miss it live, don't worry. You guys can DVR it. And if you didn't do that, don't worry. We got your back. Just go to YouTube, right in tight Medical Center. Press the subscribe button. Hit the all notification button. Watch all these great Cubic Corners. Get all that great information and see all of our other cool content that we have for you guys. We're going out of our way to make it entertaining for you guys and educational and informational. So I appreciate you guys. We love you. And we'll see you guys next Sunday for another Cupid's Corner. See you then.